What's up guys and welcome to Tantini's channel. Today I will do a review on the new Wilson shift. It seems like this model is going to be on shelf in February. And first, let's take a look at the paint job. I think the design is pretty cool, coming in white gray with shifting orange or something. The racket has 99 square inches head size with an unstrung weight of 300 gram and 16 by 20 string pattern. The spec seems to be a strange combination and the string is pretty wide open even with the 16x20. You can notice that the lowest cross string is so close to the throat of the racket. I can't even put my dampener below the last string. Okay, so Wilson market this racket as a spin frame which is pretty interesting because for me, come to think about it, I've never felt like Wilson did any good job on the spin department. I mean, if we talk about the power and spin rackets, what racket comes to your mind? Probably Bubble Lab Peel Drive, Peel Arrow, Yonex V Core and Eson, Head Extreme, right? So before we go to the playtest, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next content. Well, congratulations Wilson, you guys finally did it. From the first shot I hit, I can feel it right away, this is definitely a power and spin frame. It's a fast racket, my forehand is powerful and fast through the air. I can get a lot of top spin on it. In my opinion, the power is more than the E-Zone but not as much as the V-Core and Bubblehead racket. Uh, I think it feels quite similar to the Peel Drive except that the Peel Drive is a bit more chunky. Uh, I would say Wilson Shift plays more like a 98 square inches than the 100. I can hit the ball deep in the court pretty easy and you can see the launch angle is pretty high especially when I try to focus on spin getting more below the ball and brushing it up. Anyway, it doesn't feel like every ball fly high. It's more like I have options to choose which launch angle I want to go with. And that adds up the versatility to my game. The racket is very spin friendly and has a lot of spin potential. I would put it up there in the same umbrella with the Peel Arrow and the Extreme for sure. The feel of the racket is direct and responsive. Very lively string bed I would say and like the Yonex V Core. I think the feel on this frame is more predictable and I know pretty much where the ball is going. Uh, same as other Wilson rackets and that's what I like about Wilson. Well I think the frame plays on the firm side more than the plush side. Um, it doesn't flex much like a Clash but it's very comfortable to play with more than I expected. I would say the stiffness of the racket would be close to my Blade 98 at around like low 60. One thing I like the most about this racket is the serve. It was awesome. First serve is a bomb. I can get a lot of power and it goes in most of the time. The ball placement is surprisingly well. I got some aces today even though I'm not a big server, you know. The second serve, I would say I can get the spin from this racket more than any rackets. I can see my slight serve curved out Y like a lot. And look at the kick on that serve, it bounced pretty high. For the control, I would say the directional control is above average. It doesn't go 100% as what I desire, but I would say probably 85%. On heavy ball, it can be hard to control the direction and it keeps going to the middle of the court. But I think it is good enough for this type of racket. The depth control, yes you can control with, with the spin, but you need to be careful a bit because on certain shots it can sail long if you didn't brush the ball enough. What I don't like about this racket is the forgiveness. Uh, at first on the practice, it feels great and easy and I thought beginner and intermediate can play with it. But when playing in a match, I don't think the racket is forgiving that much. Uh, I need to be very precise on my timing and I think the sweet spot is small. I shank on my backhand like a lot. Also, the racket is not very good on defense. I will struggle to generate power when running and hit. You know what? It reminds me of the Bubble at PL Arrow 98 that I reviewed before. 
I think the performance and the feature of the racket is very close to each other. Um, you get a lot of power and spin on the sweet spot, but if you didn't hit it, end of the story. I think what Wilson tried to do with this racket is to gain some market share from the power and spin segment for advanced player who currently use bubble lap peel drive and peel arrow, etc. Uh, etc. Et Not for beginners because they already have the clash to offer and it's already the best seller, right? But you don't see advanced player use the clash that often. Um, they mostly use the blade and pro staff and those racket suits a very different game style. So I think that's the hole Wilson trying to fill. The volley is better than expected. Uh, I get a good punch, a lot of pop, and it doesn't send the ball out that much. Okay, this is the summary of what I think about the racket, uh, what I like and dislike. So who would I recommend this racket for? I would say players at around 4.5 or above who are looking for spin and like the feel of Wilson racket. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Bye!